Travis Hopper Brown, and these are my signature moves. I first learned the Superman punch when I was training with the Alliance group. We used it to go ahead and close the distance, to stay safe, but also to deliver blows that'll end up hurting your opponent. The purpose of throwing the fake kick in order to land the Superman punch is to get your opponent to react, either picking up his leg to block or dropping his hands to block the kick. It's misguiding and it's kind of a misdirection blow. When you leave the ground, you're also taking your weight and pushing it forward. You're attacking your opponent with your left leg, pushing off at the same time as you're throwing your punch. Footwork in this move is very important. Also, game planning to use this move in your fight. Bring it out, come on! At UFC 130, when I fought Stefan Struve, one of the things that we noticed is every time he would separate, we'd start making our way towards each other again, he would try to throw something big. A lot of times when he attacks or when he's defensive, he picks up his head, so it makes him even that much taller than me. Just having a hard time finding the chin of Struve. In order to hit his chin, I threw the Superman punch, oh! and it landed. Here's my flying knee. In order to perfect this move, you're gonna need footwork. As a heavyweight, one of the things that I pride myself on is having quick feet and being able to move around the cage. I like to throw the leg kicks, and then when I start to see him sit down, that's when I'm gonna use this flying knee. You can either hit him in the gut or in the sternum, or you can go upstairs and hit him in the face. It really depends on your opponent, and his reaction is where you're gonna hit him. Timing. Footwork, speed, agility, all comes together. At UFC 145, when I fought Chad Greggs, this was the fight-changing move. When I hit him with it, my knee hit right underneath his chin. It landed perfectly. I came down right into the clinch, hit him with about three or four other knees. I pushed him against the cage, threw him down, passed to half guard, and then from there, secured the triangle choke. Trying to lock it in, trying to choke him out. Both of these moves, the Superman punch and the flying knee, are weapons in my arsenal that I will continue to use. Anybody can do them. It's misleading and misdirection is what is going to help you land both of these strikes. I'm Travis Hopper Brown and I just showed you my signature moves. <laughs>